Hey everybody, I hope you are all having a great week. Um, wanted to respond to the TED Talk we had this week called Why Should You Define Your Fears Instead of Your Goals by Tim Ferriss. Um, first wanted to kind of start on more of a personal note. Um, I know we had a lot of questions about what we think about the relationship of fears and goals and um, how the process of fear setting might help. Uh, it really, this video, really resonated with me um, on a more personal level. So I wanted to start there and then I'll dive into the kind of academic side of things and writing side of things. But um, years ago, um, in my 20s, I was in a really intense car accident and um, experienced a traumatic brain injury that really limited, really, really limited my life, uh, physically, mentally, um, wasn't living the life that most 20 some year old uh, women are, are living. And his concept when he talked about stoicism, um, talking about separating what you can control from what you cannot, that was the story of my life during that time. I had a mentor um, who really spoke into my life and gave me the, the mantra of, Courtney, what can you do? Okay, you can't do this, you can't do that, you were doing this even a couple days before, now you can't do that. Um, what are the things you can do? Or as you know, what are the things you can control? And focus on those things. You know, the scripture where it talks about you know, whatever things are pure, whatever things are noble, whatever things are good report, meditate or focus your mind on those things. That was really what got me through and it really resonated with his way of fear setting. Um, I liked that the idea of fear setting doesn't nullify the fears. It doesn't make them seem like, you know, just just pretend the fears aren't there. Just pretend the limitations aren't there. Then you're going to be A-OK. -okay. But really recognizing, and not only recognizing, but almost processing them through. And I liked his process. I liked how his process was actually writing things down and putting them in stone in front of him so that he could analyze and process the things that he was facing, his concerns, um, whether some of those fears, as we all know, we all have pretty valid fears. And then sometimes we have very um, odd fears that probably could never happen, but we all think about those things. But um, really putting them down in a way that says, okay, here's what my fear is. Um, I liked his idea of prevent. What are the things that I could proactively do to make these go away? And then to repair. If it all goes south then what do I do? How do I help it? What do I, actions do I take? What support system do I have? Um, and that really resonated with me during that time after my accident recovering, it took years. Um, but being able to say, okay, what, what support system do I have? If everything, you know, whether that be from surgery to treatment to just trying to get back to normal life, if it all goes wrong, what do I have to fall back on? What do I have to keep me going? What do I have that I can do? Um, anyways, and more of a um, level in regards to this particular class, um, I just think about what we're tasked to do this week in regards to rewriting, um, revising some of our work that we've already done. Um, if any of you are like me, this will probably be like the 10th time that you've rewritten this because I... <laughs> I generally write something about four times before I even submit it. So going back to this can feel daunting. Um, and I think that's what the whole idea of fear setting is about, right? We're facing something that's daunting, something that we've maybe faced a million times before. And so our pre preconceived notions say, if I write this paper again, am I going to fail? Um, am I going to totally mess up the good parts that were in there? Am I going to have the ability to make this better, you know, can, can I push myself even further than I already have, and really defining those fears, but then having the chance to prevent and start writing them out, start repairing the things that we already did, um, having a second chance with our documents, and in regards to writing, we can have the chance to kind of reformat, to process it, to read it, what can I do, what can I control, what can I change that is going to get my story um, deeper, articulated. So I hope that all made sense. I appreciate all of you for letting me share a little bit of my own personal story. Hope you all have a great night and we'll talk to you all later.